you, God, for your breakthroughs. Thank you for supernatural breakthroughs. You are the God of breakthroughs. You break through. You break through for us, God. And we just thank you, God. Thank you. We, we just thank you, God. We just thank you for who you are, for breaking through in our situations. Thank you, God, for doing exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask for or think. We choose to partner with your truth, the word of God, that says that you do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask for or think. Oh, God, help us to partner with your truth and not to believe any lies of the enemy. Help us to partner with your truth, God, about what you say and who you say you are, God. You are the God of miracles. You are the God of breakthroughs. And I just say hallelujah and thank you for the breakthroughs in my personal life. And I thank you for the breakthroughs that you are doing in other people's lives too. I just speak breakthrough, breakthrough. God, thank you for healing breakthroughs, forgiveness breakthroughs, financial breakthroughs, testimonial breakthroughs, grace to testify about the goodness of God in our lives. Grace to testify without any fear. Grace to testify without any shame. Grace to testify because people need to hear our testimonies. I just speak of courage right now. For those of you, anybody listening, who has a powerful testimony, just continue to testify. You might have to reshare your testimony over and over again because there's someone out there that needs to hear about your freedom from witchcraft, your freedom from perversion, your freedom from stresses, your freedom from a headache. It doesn't, as little as it might sound, it's a big breakthrough. Headaches, freedom from break, uh, freedom from headaches or like things like that. That's a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. There's nothing small. There's nothing small in God's kingdom. I think it's all big. Thank you, God, for your comfort. Thank you for the testimonies, God. I can think of the time where you healed somebody um, I can think of a time at Walmart where a lady said that she just wanted a hug and that brought warmth to her and that made her feel the love of God. And I thank you for the hugs of God. I thank you for spiritual hugs right now, God, just for those who need a comfort, for those who are dealing with any kind of depression or sadness, God, I thank you for spiritual hugs right now, that you would touch lives right now and just hug people, God. Whether it be through individuals or just directly from you, God, where people can just feel your warmth right now, God, I just thank you for your hugs, God. Your your spiritual hugs, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for comfort. Thank you for the times you've warmed me up. Thank you for your fire in my life. Thank you for the times where you brought comfort to me. Thank you for healing of uh, sickness, healing from uh, perverse things, God. Thank you for supernatural miracles and breakthroughs in my life, financial breakthroughs. I speak that over anyone who needs a financial breakthrough right now, just a miracle in their finances. I say, do it again, Lord. Breakthroughs, f financial miracles, God. I thank you for provision, God. Thank you for breaking through and bringing provision for those who need help right now in this hour. Thank you, God, for helping individuals that need help with their gas. Thank you for funding um, individuals, funds for individuals right now. Thank you for helping people travel. I thank you for supernatural breakthroughs for travel. Thank you, God, for financial breakthroughs and miracles for salaries. I thank you for doing exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask for or think for those who have salaries right now. Thank you for the generosity of the saints. Thank you for those who are blessed to finance the kingdom and that give willingly or freely, sorry, that give freely because they want to. Hallelujah. Thank you for emotional healing. Thank you for freedom from fear and anxiety. Thank you for freedom from panic attacks, God. Thank you for breaking through in my life. Hallelujah. Freedom from panic attacks. Thank you for freedom from social anxiety. Thank you for grace, grace to go places, to go out and do kingdom work. Hallelujah. Thank you for those miracles testimonies yeah thank you for the freedom to testify freedom to testify because you are good you are good and you're worthy of all praise you're worthy of all praise you're worthy of all praise hallelujah i speak peace right now i speak healing i speak god's perfect peace and his purposes and plans thank you for our hope in the future god hallelujah thank you for your direction god in our lives. Thank you for a breakthrough in redirection, redirecting individuals right now so that we're walking in the right 
the right places, God. Going to the right places at the right time. We will not, uh, we will not be at the wrong place at the wrong time in Jesus' name. I just come against sudden death. I come against accidents by the blood of Jesus. I declare it null and void. Just pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Just pray God's protection. That accidents are not your portion. No accidents. I just bind the spirit of accidents in Jesus' name. We shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. I thank you for covering us, protecting us. I thank you for the blood of Jesus over our past. I just come against the lies of the enemy. I come against child abductions. I speak the blood of Jesus over your kids right now, God. I thank you for covering them all over the world right now. Thank you for covering your children. Thank you for your love for your children. Hallelujah. Anyway, just begin to thank God for breakthroughs and continue to thank God throughout the day. It is the night watch here, but depending on your time zone, it could be morning. Don't know what time it is where you're at, but feel free to let me know. But I pray for breakthroughs over your day. Just continually thank God for the breakthrough because he is not a man that he should lie. He is a God who um, honors his promises. He does what he says he's going to do. So thank you, God, for the breakthroughs. Thank you for them coming to pass in our lives. And help us to partner with your truth and not to believe the lies of the enemy. Because we do not want those lies to manifest in our lives, God. Help us to partner with truth, to renounce lies to replace lies with truth and to partner and speak the truth of God. And just, we just cancel word curses in Jesus name. We're not going to partner with it. We're not going to believe it. We're going to believe in what you say, God, we forgive ourselves. We forgive ourselves for any way we believe lies. Any way we've spoke out lies of ourselves. We repent of it in Jesus name. We choose to turn away from it. It's a personal choice. I pray for grace, grace for every single person listening. If there are any, if there are any lies that God's highlighting to you for grace, grace to turn away from them in Jesus name that you would speak God's truth over yourself. Hallelujah. Take care. Have a blessed, blessed night, sweet sleep, and sweet morning, sweet day to you, depending on your time zone. Take care.